only two days away from the Super Bowl 57, which means that either one of the Kansas City Chiefs or the Philadelphia Eagles will lift the Lombardi Trophy. This year's halftime show will feature one of the most popular pop artists of all time, Rihanna. We're excited to do the Super Bowl. We, we are. It will mark the superstar's return to a musical stage after seven years' break. After saying no so many times, she finally accepted. As scary as that was because I haven't been on stage in seven years, there's something exhilarating about the challenge of it all. Rihanna's halftime show is the first sponsored by Apple Music since they took over, so the setup is very different than the past years. When Pepsi was running the event, they had a press conference where artists answered questions from reporters. 2020, it was Shakira and Jello. During the pandemic, The Weeknd still answered questions virtually. 2017, Lady Gaga threw the ball to her dad in the crowd. And 2013, Beyoncé took her chance to sing the national anthem. So how much will Rihanna be paid for her performance? Thousands? Millions of dollars? The shocking truth is that artists who performed for the Super Bowl halftime doesn't get paid at all. What? The NFL pays for all expenses associated with the production of the halftime show, but the artists are not paid. So is it a win-win situation for the NFL? Not exactly. The 2020 performance by Jennifer Lopez and Shakira reportedly cost the NFL $30 million. Today, Rihanna was interviewed by Apple Music. She had to put together a 30-minute performance that summarized her 17-year career. The set list was the biggest challenge. Oh my god, there, there are probably about 39 versions of the set list right now. Wow. So how exactly do artists benefit from the Super Bowl performances? Well, because such a large audience is assured, artists are given exposure and prime opportunity to advertise their most recent albums, tours, and projects. The Super Bowl halftime show is one of the most watched events on live television, with millions of viewers each year. Yes! However, Record sales are where the performance usually makes most of money. According to Country Living, JLo and Shakira sales increased by outstanding 1013% after the Halt and Show performance. Rihanna, who was the richest artist on earth last year, will add even one more source of income. The Grammy Award winner will perform while also producing a documentary for Apple TV. It shows a young girl walking on the streets of Barbados and ending up on Rihanna Drive, which was renamed after the superstar. My dreams were born on this very street right here. Yes. This could be similar to what JLo did after her performance with the halftime Netflix release. 